good. And if only y'all stop having damn problems with it. Clean that shit up. Look at you always doing some shit. <laughs> Dude, this car got some the little, smallest, stupidest stuff wrong with it. I blame it on Fatek, but it probably was me. But if it would have started, it wouldn't have been this. And it stopped right there in the spot where he. What's up, guys? SES, and I'm back with another one. Man, I'm looking for my tripod. There you go. So, I'm going to give y'all a little brief overview of me. I got a lot of stuff going on right now. I am currently working on orders. I am currently working on a dining room table. And I am currently working on getting this winch mount plate and everything set up just to mount it. This all this one video is going to be mounting this winch in the floor. So, I could, uh, all my cars that don't run, pull it back on the lift, drop it, connect the winch, pull it in, lift it up, uh, the donk, I had to change the flywheel on it. A silver box, the one that got painted was the white box. And I put that in and fix the fuel system so it can run. It has no fuel pressure. Fuel pump come on, but no fuel pressure. I'm guessing the pump went out or a hose blew off or something. So I got to pull that in. The gold box, uh, it has a 700 trans. I'm changing it to 460E that trans in the garage. Uh, I am thinking about taking the complete Fitech system off the donk. I'm trying to do all of that, all those mechanical things before I do the frame off on this car. We actually got parts for this car too. And like I said, I'm just trying to get my mechanical area set. So my first thing I'm doing with this here is I took the winch plate. Let me go get it. I, I, I said I wasn't even going to record this for real. I ain't going to lie to y'all because I'm on a time crunch. I got other stuff to do. It's only going to take me like 30 minutes. I put the plate on here. Got pilot holes. Got one, two, three, four. I got some pneumatic oil I'm just using for cutting oil. And I got a fresh new bit. I don't know what size it is. I know I never used it, so I know it'll cut through easy. And I got the drill on the lower set. And I'm just cutting through. All right, once I get that, I take my step bit, make the hole bigger. Um, I got to get bolts for the actual winch. Uh, it's going to be a bolt washer, this plate, this plate, going into the uh, actual winch. Now, for right here, I drilled the pie holes for this. I got 3 8 anchor bolts. 3 8 by 16 anchor bolts. It's gonna go into the concrete thing with the size on it. 5 8 by 6. 5 8 by 6 anchor bolts. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4. Bang them boys in. I got some quick, quick set epoxy. I got the one with two. Two field tubes so I can use it again whenever I have to, which is becoming the often thing. Um, but yeah, so y'all about to see me, I'm about to cut this thing up, drill my holes.
Still my hose. And the damn hammer drill went out. I don't know if it needs some grease. But this boy is not spinning no more. I'm gonna try to get some grease. I think, I think it's going out. I think that's it. But uh, find a way to do that last one without wiggling it too much. I ain't trying to mess up the integrity of my anchor bolts. Uh, other than that, man, I'm about to set the, set the bolts in. And then I might go to Home Depot or something. I mean, Home Depot. Ace Hardware tonight. Get the washers and the bolts for the winch. All right, we got that taken care of. So I can clean it out. It was like an intermittent problem, but I don't need this being no intermittent problem when I really need to make accurate holes or stuff like this as far as anchor bolts. All right, now I'm gonna get my anchor bolt set and then that'll be that until I get the bolts to belt the, rent, the winch on to this winch mount. And then right here, this cover go right here. I probably uh go take this in the shop. I mean, in the garage. My my welder's still in the garage. Grind this thing clean, and then uh weld this on to here. All right, guys, we set. And man, whoo! Anchoring the board up that small hammer, man. So I'm about to time lapse y'all again. Clean this up. Put my air compressor on. Switch to the welder. Turn the welder on. Turn the gas on tech that boy in place and then i'm guessing i'm gonna need like 12 of these same side washers three side that should give me the thickness of the boat just from my guessing from the head that'll stick out maybe even four we'll go four now what i'm really doing this for is to see uh how, how much thread i'm gonna have which it look like it's gonna be a lot but uh i'm well past the bottom of the concrete so The depth going any deeper, I don't think it would have did too much. This is my opinion. I don't know though. It probably would, or it probably wouldn't. I don't know. Because over here it's not six inches, it's uh four inches. So let me just see something. Okay, so yeah. It's pretty good. And then like I said, the winch sit right here. All the stuff for the winch sit on the side of it. Easy unboat bolt. The anchor bolts just stay right there. But yeah, this is definitely shoot what? Three, three hundred dollars max setup versus paying for the car pusher thing was like, which I was willing to spend two thousand. I mean twenty five hundred, but for a used machine, it can tell me how long it's been in service. Uh, no warranty, none of that. I rather do this three hundred dollars. I ain't even lie to y'all. Uh, but uh, you go ahead and remove this bad boy, and I'm gonna stick one of these washers in my pocket. That way, I know I'm getting the right washers. I'm about to clean this thing, weld it up, and I'll be done till I get the bolts for the bottom of the winch and 16 washers, four for each one. But yeah. All right, back from the store. So, got a five sixteenths washers for the bolts for this. And yeah, it didn't come with these bolts that I needed. Another one's this size. And then uh, they look so loose because they like tabs. I'm going to show y'all. See, now it's in. Alright. Well, you can see right here. It's a tab held in place. So, and then uh, I got a little, little thickness so I can go through both of these pieces of steel. Plus my washer or whatever that I put on the bottom side. So, I'm about to bolt this thing in. And then... And do the anchor bolts, and then I should be done. All right, I got some help, y'all. I gotta pay her seventy-five dollars every time. Actually, one dollar. Okay, one dollar. Let's go. So she tightening this bad boy up. Remember, when I was supposed to earn that in like seventeen years old, which is I supposed to be a teenager for that. Okay, so one dollar. Uh, are you sure? For now. Well, how much you want? Well, just. I right, get the next one. All right, that's good. How much you want? Um, five dollars. <laughs> Dang, five dollars. I mean, one dollar. One dollar, one dollar. Five dollars. You want five? Uh, well. 
I give you five dollars. <laughs> okay. Five dollars. I'm getting robbed. No, you're not. I'm gonna give you some money back. When? Wait, will you give me five dollars? Mm-hmm. It's tight. Not really. Hey, I don't like this epoxy, man. Uh, I like the one that I use on the lips better, which it was only like three, four dollars different. I just tried something new. I'm gonna stop trying new stuff. Cause these boys, that one, that one went the deepest and it spin. I'm like, ah. But I did beat that one a little bit. Kinda, kinda bad. So, that one's giving me issues. It's tight. I didn't get some terminals. I meant to stop at the store and get terminals, but I forgot. So I'm gonna try to see if I can get some screws through here. I gotta find my small drill. And then I'm gonna screw this boy down. But other than that, he rocking and rolling. Yeah, I gotta hook it back up. All right, we about to hook it back up and then shoot. Let's get to our terminals whenever we get our terminals. All right, man, I'm done. Y'all probably can hear both of these girls. I got the big girl in here working and making a bunch of noise. And then the baby over here making a bunch of noise. I'm about to go in the house. I'm coming back out here tonight, though. I'm kind of motivated since uh, I'm able to do my mechanical stuff and get my own cars back. I'm kind of motivated, man. I got this done so I could uh, pull my pieces of crap in here that don't run and work on them comfortably. I ain't got to be uh, banging my head on the floor and all that. But um, right here, I put some tech flex on this. So it was just, what, two to three different wires? Black with the whatever that's in the black wire, the red wire, and then some green that was hanging out up there and down there. So right here, this stuff that's hanging out, these is the connections to use the manual button that I showed y'all to go on the handlebar piece. I just zip tied this piece on here. I wasn't screwing it down. But I can't find my smaller impact. And like I said, tech flex right here. The tape, tape all right there. And yeah, I just have to charge this battery when it needs charge. But other than that, it's good enough, man. It's sure, good enough to get what I need done. Probably put a magnet on this post. I see baby's playing with the stuff. Probably just put a magnet right here and clip it. But yeah. Let's turn it on real quick. Yeah, I'm about to order them terminals. Can uh, I put that's it. That's up? it. You can use it uh, when I bring my car in here. And then I'll let you get in the car and press it. And it's going to pull both of us back. How do you like that? Want to do that? Hey, let's get it. Yeah, man. So I'll cut y'all back on when I can get a test fit. I mean, a test a test run on it. But uh, yeah, we about to go in the house. I've been out here all day. Um, yeah, cut y'all back on once I... Bring my car around, man. Can't motivate it, man. I'm gonna lie.